In today's video, I will be showing you guys a cool and new Blender add-on known as ZShot, which from what I can see, promises to improve 3D rendering experience with its set of features. But first, to understand whether it is gonna be valuable or not, we will need to explore and delve more into its features, which is exactly what we're gonna do in today's video. To start, let's discuss the core function of ZShot. First of all, it serves as a tool that lets you transform 3D objects into useful formats, such as a decal texture or icons, or maybe trims, masks, and alpha brushes. This feature alone unlocks many opportunities and different options to work on your projects. And I think the most important advantage of ZShot, rather than using other methods like baking in Blender, is efficiency. That's mainly because baking can be time-consuming and demanding. Well, ZShot can simplify the process by reducing the time needed for rendering. And this efficiency does not only save time, but can also boost productivity by allowing you to focus more on the creative side of work rather than the technical details. Furthermore, if you can look at it, the interface of ZShot is another strong point, which the add-on has. It is simple to use and doesn't require any scene setup or preparation. So all you have to do is select the mode that you think is best for you, modify the output settings to get the results that you want, click the render button, and the add-on will take care of the rest. Adding to that, it automatically adjusts the canvas size and aspect ratio with a new handy setting. This user-friendly method enhances the user experience, which I think ensures ZShot is easy for individuals with varying levels of experience. And one of the best things I like about ZShot is its versatility, because it offers a wide variety of modes to meet different rendering needs. With 13 distinct modes, including Alpha Brush, Height, Normal, Curvature, in addition to others. So we have all the flexibility that we need to visualize different outcomes. In addition, it offers a custom mode that gives you unrestricted creative freedom. For example, it allows you to experiment and be creative with ZShot, especially when it comes with the technical aspects. Moreover, the option to export rendering files in multiple formats, which is gonna be great, including AXR, PNG, or TIFF, which is another strong feature it has. Also, you can receive either sRGB, linear grayscale, or linear color images, depending on the render mode that you chose earlier. And you can easily combine your existing or previously rendered maps in channel packed RBG maps with the channel packing mode. And in order to use the add on, save your project first. Next, select the name and location for the rendering results. After that, click the setting icon next to the render button to select the desired image format. Then select one of the 13 available modes, which include alpha brush, height, normal, curvature, ambient occlusion, opacity vertex color, metallic, roughness, emission, and BSDF base color, among others. Following that, you may modify the rendering parameters, such as the resolution and samples, and the canvas parameters, such as the mode, border, and aspect ratio, based on your needs. Finally, hit the render button, and you will have your results ready in seconds. And I think the good news is that ZShot is receiving many updates to enhance its functionality. And the most recent update includes the ability to control the pixel filter width and apply dithering. Other improvements include handling disabled objects in a better way and adding a new render mode called BSDF Alpha Transparency. So, if you are interested in ZShot, you will find all the necessary links in the description. I hope you guys found this video useful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Also, please subscribe to this channel to receive more videos like this. Thank you guys very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.